morning, my name's Angie. I'm going to be taking you through a yoga class and you can do this in the morning, the evening, whenever you feel most comfortable to do so. So you're going to need a yoga mat or a towel, um, comfortable clothing, so kind of loose joggers or tight leggings, whatever you feel most comfortable in. You don't need any socks, you don't need any trainers. Um, and also just an open mind. Don't feel you have to push yourself into a certain pose. If you want to take a break, do so. Um, this is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be an easy, nice flow for you to kind of feel re relaxed and calm in this weird time that we're all in. So we're going to start by coming to kneel. Now, if this doesn't feel comfortable for you, you can come into a cross-legged position instead. Bring the feet in and the knees come out to the side. So up to you, pick whichever feels best. And then when you get to this position, you're going to sit up nice and tall and close your eyes. You're just going to bring your awareness to your breath. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Feel your belly rising up. Exhale, open the mouth side out. Big breath in, filling up your belly. Open the mouth, sigh, release. Last time. And then close down the mouth. Keep the eyes closed. Bring the shoulders into it. So as you inhale, scrunch the shoulders up towards the ears, bring some tension, exhale, release them down. Breathe in, squeezing them up, creating tension. Breathing out, sharp shrug down, release any tension in that part of the body. Last time, scrunching up towards your ears, crunching. Exhale, release the shoulders down. Keep those eyes closed. We're gonna focus on sitting up nice and tall. Imagine like something's pulling you up through the crown of your head. So you're really nice and straight down the back of the spine, the shoulders draw back and are away from your ears. Lightly engage your core. So in yoga we call this our Uddhyana Bandha. All that means is your navel lock. So all you're gonna do when I say activate that is ease your navel up and in. So just activate that, keep it nice and strong. Hands this time you're gonna to come to rest on your knees. Turn the palms to face up towards the ceiling and feel really nice and open through your hands. We're going to scrunch the hands into a fist. You're going to lift the palms up away from the knees and start taking circular movements through the wrists. Already hear those clicks and pops. So for any of us who are on computers, laptops, even our phones, really easy to have tight wrists. Start circling in the opposite direction. Remembering your breath. Long, deep breaths throughout every movement that you take in your practice. Start slowing down the movement, lower the hands back down on top of your knees, open the palms up. This time the hands are going to place on top of our heart. So first bring the left hand, press the palm into the chest and then the right hand goes on top of it. Slow deep breaths, just reconnect. You can feel your heartbeat here. Feel the chest expanding on the breath in. So let everything completely slow down. If you spent the whole day serving others, if you've got a day ahead of you where you're going to be busy doing things for other people, this is your time to focus on yourself only. Slow down. And try and stay as present as you can. So try to stay in this moment. Don't worry too much about what happened before. Leave it all behind. And no worries of what's supposed to happen in the future or what's going to happen in the future. All you've got control over is this moment right now. And then here with your hands where they are, you're going to think about someone that you love. And just notice how that makes you feel in your whole body and your whole mind. Just thinking and visualising that one person. And you're going to dedicate the practice to this person as well as to yourself. I'm gonna release the hands back down on top of your knees, palms facing up, open. Gently, we're gonna blink the eyes open. Take an inhale, send the arms all the way up to the ceiling, look up. 
And as you exhale, we're gonna lean forwards with the body, bring the hands all the way down. Might come to your mat, might come to the floor in front of you. Next inhale, we're gonna press the palms, lift up, look ahead of you. And as you exhale, we're gonna see if we can walk those fingers a little bit further away. You might just wanna stay here. If you can, rest your head to the mat, go for it. If not, hanging out here is absolutely fine. Relax on your shoulders and relax through your neck and your head. Sink the body down. Next inhale, come up to the tips of the fingers. Exhale, walk the hands slowly back in towards the feet. Coming into a twist now, so the left hand's gonna come to your right knee, right hand comes behind the body. Breathe in to lift up and open with the chest. Breathe out, twisting round, gaze behind your right shoulder. Staying here, breathing in, lifting up and lengthening. Breathing out to twist a little bit further. Deep breath in through your nose. Deep breath out through your nose. Remember that Uddiyana Bandha, that navel lock. We want you to reconnect with that. So squeeze your navel up and in, twisting a little bit further. Next inhale, turn the head to face the front. And as you exhale, return the hands, slowly release them round. Other side, right hand comes to the left knee, left hand comes behind the body. Breathe in to lift, open the chest, draw the shoulders back. Breathe out to twist, gazing behind the left shoulder. Keeping both of your hips in one line. Lifting up, inhaling, twisting on the exhale. Try to keep the breath nice and fluid. So it's easy to hold your breath if poses get a little bit tight. Try to keep the breath flowing through your nose. Next inhale, head turns to face the front. Exhale, release the hands. From here, we're gonna come onto all fours. So you're gonna bring your alignment so that the knees are directly under the hips and the hands are directly under the shoulders. So you're gonna come into cat-cow posture. On your inhale, we're gonna press the palms into the mat, gaze up, arching the spine. On the exhale, we're gonna tuck, lead with the head, round off, tuck the tailbone under, dome the upper back. Breathing in to round, look up. Breathing out, tucking under. And you're gonna keep going with this movement, synchronizing one breath to one movement. So you all might be breathing at different paces. So this is good because you can kind of really just go with your own breath and your own movement. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing. And then we're gonna start slowing down that movement. Come into a neutral spine. We're gonna pick up the right hand. You're gonna scoop the right hand and the arm all the way in between the left hand and the left knee. The whole right side of the body comes to rest on the ground. So you'll thread the needle pose. We're gonna stay here. You're gonna close your eyes if you want to. You've got the option to bring that left hand further forward and get a stretch under the left arm. So you get the option here to stay where you are, maybe to come up to the tips of the fingers of that left hand. So let's stretch all the way through the left armpit. If you want to take it into a twist, you can bring the left hand all the way round so it rests on the lower back. Maybe that hand can tuck into the upper right thigh, just where the crease is. So you're pulling the shoulder back. Right side of the body's resting down Focus on slowing down the breath. So lots of options there. So get to wherever you feel most comfortable in. And then once you're there, stay there and the focus comes back to the breath. If you've taken your bind and you've wrapped your hand round, or you've extended it, you're gonna slowly start making your way back by bringing that left hand back by your face. And then inhale, press into the left palm, bring that right hand all the way back. It's gonna open up to the side, look up, gaze up. And then the exhale, you're gonna return the right hand down. Same on the other side, take any movement left to right if you need to. Just undulating the spine like it's a wave. And then come back to neutral, this time left hand comes up. Scoop it in between the right hand and the right knee. The whole left side of the body comes down. Whatever you did on the other side, you're gonna try and replicate. So if you extended that right hand all the way to the front of the mat, you can do so. Maybe coming to the tips of the fingers, 
Maybe coming into the bind, bringing the right hand all the way around to rest on the lower back or tucking it into the crease of your upper left thigh, drawing the right shoulder back, still staying relaxed with the left side of the body. Maybe closing the eyes, deep breaths here. Let the breath completely slow down. If you took your bind, you're gonna find your way slowly back to bringing that right hand by your face. Inhale, press into the right palm. Left hand comes up, gaze up towards that left hand. And as you exhale, slowly draw the hand back onto all fours. We're gonna come into our downward facing dog. So press into the palms, tuck the toes and slowly start lifting the knees off the mat just to hover and then keep going really slowly until the hips come all the way up and back towards the ceiling. So you can readjust your stance here, nice wide stance between the hands and the legs. And the gaze in your downward facing dog is behind. So you're gazing either to your navel or in between your two legs or towards your feet. From here, you're gonna start bending out each of your knees. So taking your dog for a walk, just bringing some movement through the backs of the legs. It's quite an intense stretch, especially if you've been sitting down all day or for anyone that doesn't mean running. And then once you have enough movement, try to find some stillness in your downward facing dog. Inhale, come to the tips of the toes, keep looking backwards. Exhale, draw the heels down towards the mat. Breathing in, tips of the toes, pressing firmly into both of your palms, exhaling, drawing the heels down. Last time, inhale, get a deep stretch through the backs of the legs. Exhale, sink further down. You're gonna bring the feet together at the back of your mat. You're gonna bend both the knees until you come all the way down to the mat. You're gonna widen the knees so they're the same distance as your mat. Flatten the feet, sit the glutes back towards your heels, extend the arms, rest the forehead to the mat for your child's pose. This is your resting pose you can come to at any point of the practice. You wanna have a break. So we're getting a really deep stretch here through the hips, through the hamstrings, through the arms and through the back. Next inhale, we're gonna lift the forehead and exhale, it's gonna take us back up into our downward facing dog, just where we were. Bend out each of your knees a couple of times, then come to stillness. From stillness, send the right leg up towards the ceiling into your three-legged dog. You're gonna bend the knee to stack both of the hips and gaze under your right armpit. So press both the palms into the mat, two straight arms, and work on opening that right knee away. So feeling a real stretch through the right hip, through the right hamstring, make that right foot floppy like you're trying to get it to touch your left glute. Breathing here. Next inhale, straightens that right leg, gazing back down towards the mat. Pushing up into your three-legged dog and then bend the knee, bring it in towards the chest. Drop the foot between the two hands and bring the right arm up into your twist. Gaze up towards that right hand, active through the right finger. You can drop the back knee if you need to, otherwise keep it extended up to you. Breathe here. Inhale, stretch up like someone's pulling your right hand up. And as you exhale, bring the right hand down. I'm gonna take a big step with the back left leg until it comes to meet the front. Inhale, come to the tips of the fingers, look ahead. Exhale, with the nice and forward fold. Inhale, we're gonna sweep the arms all the way up, look up towards the ceiling. And exhale, we're gonna come all the way back down into your Uttanasana, hands come back down towards your feet. Inhale, come to the tips of the fingers, look ahead. Exhale, plant the hand, step the right foot back, followed by the left into your plank. We're gonna bring the knees down, the chest and the chin. Come down to the mat, so keep the glutes in the air. And as you inhale, you're gonna slide yourself forward into your upward facing dog, look up. As you exhale, lead with the head, push the hands back into your downward facing dog. You can come into your child's pose here if you want to. Otherwise, you can keep it up here, breathing here. Next inhale, send the left leg up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog. And we're gonna bend the knee to open that hip. So stack hips on top of one another.
press evenly into the mat with both your hands, maybe gazing under your left armpit. That left foot is floppy, reaching for the right glute. Feel that stretch through the left hamstring, left hips, breathing in, breathing out. Next breath in, we're going to straighten the leg, head looks down, exhale, bend the knee in towards the chest, drop the foot between the two hands, bring the left arm up into your twist. Same again, you can drop that back knee, otherwise keep it extended, active through the fingers, squeeze your navel up and in, breathe in, lifting up. Breathe out, the hand comes down. Big step with the right foot all the way to the front of the mat. Inhale to look up, straight ahead of you. Exhale, forward fold. From here, we're gonna heel toe your feet hip width apart. Bend your knees as much as you need to until you get your two fingers underneath the big toe and the thumb on top. Inhale to look up. Lengthen, looking straight ahead. Exhale, elbows come to the side. Padagasthasana, your big toe pose. So you're working on getting a deep stretch through the backs of the legs. Elbows come out towards the side, pulling yourself down. Use your breath here. Micro bend the knees if you need to. Otherwise work on getting them straight. And gazing in between your two legs. Go for a nice, long, even breath. Next inhale, we're going to look up, exhale, we're going to plant the hands, bend the knees, bring the feet back together and then one by one stepping the left foot back followed by the right, come into your knees, chest and your chin, come down, inhaling to slide yourself forward into your cobra, press into the palms, exhale to tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, come to your child's face if you want to. Deep breath out. Next inhale, bend the knees, look to the front, step the right foot between the two hands and come up to the tips of the fingers, look ahead of you. Slowly bring the arms all the way up into your crescent lunge, so sitting nice and tall and then open the arms either side for your warrior two. So nice deep bend in the front leg, nice and open through the chest, through the hips and we're gazing at the middle finger of this right hand that's in the front. Breathe in to straighten the legs, arms come up. Breathe out to open out into your warrior two. Inhale, legs straight and looking up. Exhale, open warrior two. Last one, inhale to look up. Exhale to warrior two. Straighten the front leg and turn the right foot in. We're gonna come into our wide-legged forward fold. Hands come to the hips. Inhale to look up, maybe a little back bend. And exhale, we're going to hinge, come all the way down. We're going to drop the hands down to the ground. If you've got a bend in your left knee, make sure you have a bend in your right. So your legs are doing the same thing, either a little bend or straight. Inhale, come to the tips of the fingers, look up. Exhale, ripple the body down. Breathe in to look up, open. Breathe out, coming a little bit further. Last time, inhale, look up. Exhale, we're going to hang out here. Using your breath, get yourself a little bit closer towards the ground. You can take a bend if you need to in both of your knees. Nice, slow, long breaths. Breathe in to come to the tips of the fingers, look up. Breathe out, we're going to interlock the hands behind our waist. Inhale, pull the interlocked hands away. And exhale, sink a little bit deeper towards the ground, towards the mat. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Slowing down. Think about that person that you love, like you did at the beginning. Next inhale, lower the interlocked hands towards your ground. And then walk the hands over to the left. We're going to bring the right hand around the left ankle. Left arm comes up into your twist. Breathe in to lift up and lengthen. Breathe out, see if you can twist a bit further. Either staying here, if you want to take a bind, you can bring the left hand to come round. Maybe to the lower back, maybe it can tuck into that upper crease of that right thigh. And then use that to twist yourself a little bit deeper. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhaling. Exhaling. You took your bind, slowly start to release, bring up, and then all the way.
way down towards the ground. Inhale to walk the hands back through centre. Exhale to walk them all the way over to that front foot. Left hand comes round the right ankle, right arm comes up, open into your twist. Breathing in, lifting, imagine like someone's pulling your right hand. Breathing out, take the bind if you did on the other side. Inhale to twist. Exhale, getting a little bit deeper. Deep breath in through your nose. Deep breath out. If you took your bind, slowly start to release. Bring the hand all the way up. Exhale to release it down. Hands walk through center. Inhale, tip to the fingers, look up. Exhale, sink all the way further down. We're gonna walk the hands to that front foot. Turn the right foot towards the front. And we're gonna plant the hands either side of the foot. Step it back into your plank. Come to your knees, chest and chin. Lower yourself down. Slide yourself forwards, inhale. Exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And out. Next inhale, send the left leg up towards the ceiling. Three-legged dog. Bend the knee in towards the chest. Drop the foot between the two hands. Come to the tips of the fingers and slowly make your way up into your crescent lunge. Breathing in here, lengthening up. Breathing out, opening the legs out to the side. The arms come out to the side as well. So you've got a deep bend in that front knee and an angled foot at the back. Breathe in, straighten the leg. Arms come up. Breathe out, open out, warrior two. Inhale to lengthen, look up, lift. Exhale for your warrior two. Last time, inhale, look up, lengthen, stretch. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Gonna straighten that leg, turn the left foot in, and this time both arms come up, look up. As you exhale, hinge all the way forward, grab hold of your big toe, bend the knees as much as you need to, two, thumb, two fingers come underneath that big toe, thumb comes on top. Breathe in to look up, to lengthen, exhale, forward fold. So this is just a variation of all those folds that we did on the other side. Work on deepening, getting a deeper stretch through the backs of the legs. Next inhale, slowly lifting up. Exhale to walk the hands back towards that left foot. Planting the hands and then pressing, left foot comes back to your plank. Knees, chest and chin, lowers you down. Inhale, slide yourself forward for your upward facing dog or your cobra. And then exhale, take the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. You're gonna bring the knees all the way down to the mat. Bring the knees together, feet together. And come into your child's pose. Shoulders are relaxed, palms are turned upwards, forehead comes to the mat. Close down the eyes, focus on slowing down the breath. Next inhale, slowly start lifting yourself all the way up. So you come into kneeling, and then you're gonna twizzle yourself round and extend both of the legs in front of you. Coming into your seated forward fold. Inhale, send both the arms up, look up. Exhale, come all the way down. So you might get to your shins, your ankles, your toes, wherever you get to is fine. You're just working on straightening the backs of the legs. If you can get to your toes, you can bring your big toe bind once again. So two fingers underneath, thumb on top. Inhale to look up to lengthen. Exhale, come all the way down. Elbows draw out to the side. Relax your head and your neck. Breathing here. So getting to wherever you feel you can get to comfortably. So you wanna feel you're stretching out in yoga, but you're not straining any part of the body. Again, using your breath. Next inhale, we're gonna lift up. Exhale, we're gonna release the hands. We're gonna bring the soles of the feet to the mat, about hip width apart. We're gonna press into the palms, press into the soles of the feet and lift the hips and look up. So pushing the hips up, keep breathing, make sure you're not holding your breath here, really strong with the hands. Squeezing up, inhaling, and 
on your exhale, you can really slowly lower yourself down the way that you came up. We're gonna come into bringing the right knee in towards the chest. You're gonna open it out. So the sole of the foot comes to the upper left thigh. We're gonna breathe in, send the arms up, direct the body over the left foot. And as you exhale, we're gonna come all the way down over that left leg and that left foot. So still same again, relaxing the head and the neck. Hands come to the shins, the mat, maybe your feet, wherever you can get to. Breathe in to lift and breathe out to come even further down. Slow down breaths, even inhales, even exhales. Feel that stretch through the back of the leg. Next inhale, slowly make your way up. Exhale, release. Bring both knees in towards the chest. Wrap your arms around your knees, around your legs. I'm just going to tuck the forehead down to rest on top of your kneecaps. So squeezing yourself in here. Just bring some awareness to how this posture makes you feel. Then next inhale, slowly lift the forehead up. Keep the left knee where it is. We're gonna extend the right leg. Open that left knee out to the side so the foot comes to the upper right inner thigh. Directing the body over this right leg. Inhale, send the arms up, gazing up, lifting. Exhaling to come all the way down. Breathe in to lift the chest, open, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, come further down. Again, head of the neck and relax, slow down the breath. Next inhale, slowly gonna make your way up. And as you exhale, hands come by your hips. Left knee comes in, draw this right knee back in. You're gonna come into your Navasana, your boat pose. So you're gonna start dipping the body backwards until the feet come to lift. So you can stay here, you can keep your hands underneath the crease of the knee. Or if you wanna take it a bit further, see if you can extend those legs straight ahead of you. Embrace the shakes and the wobbles and maybe extend the arms either side of the body. If that is good enough for you and you wanna hold here, absolutely do that. There's not a problem, there's not, the, the best pose is not necessarily the one where you have your arms out and your legs out. So do whatever you feel most comfortable doing. Personally, I like staying here, squeezing your core, lifting up with the chest, make sure the back is not crumbling. Breathing in, exhaling, inhale, exhale. We're going to cross the legs over, plant the hands in front, step or jump back into your plank. And then same again, knees, chest and chin come down as you lower all the way down. Inhale, slide yourself forward to your cobra and exhale, lead with the head, hip up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, open the mouth. Inhaling. Exhale to release. Knees come all the way down towards the mat. Come back into your kneeling, walk the hands in. Twizzle yourself round once again, extending the legs in front of you. This time we're gonna get the legs um, all the way to the end of the mat. So you can shuffle yourself forward until your heels come in line with the mat. And we're gonna extend the arms straight ahead of us. And you're gonna squeeze your core in and start slowly lowering down until you get all the way down towards the mat. And when you get here, you might need to readjust again. So shift your body forward if you need to. Coming into a spinal twist here, bring both knees in towards the chest. Firstly, giving yourself a big hug, squeeze yourself in. Maybe some gentle rolls from left to right to massage your lower spine. Really slow down the movement. Close your eyes if you want to. We're gonna roll all the way over to the left. So the knees come all the way over to the left, but both your shoulders stay on the mat. Release the arms either side of the body. I'm gonna gaze in the opposite direction to your knees. So knees are over to the left, we're gazing to the right. If you wanna deepen your stretch, bring the knees closer up towards the chest. Into your spinal twist.
Knees gonna come back through center, turn the head to face up towards the ceiling, all the way over to the right, gazing in the opposite direction. Turning the head to face up through centre, knees come back in towards the chest, wrap the hands around your legs, squeeze yourself in, give yourself a nice big hug, think about that person you love. Slowly release the grip and bring the soles of the feet to rest on the mat. Last posture, you're going to come into a bridge pose, so we're going to walk the feet and the heels all the way in until when you have your hands by your hips you can feel the backs of your heels. And then from here you're going to start lifting the hips up towards the ceiling. Push the hips up, squeeze the glutes, press into the feet. You can stay here or you can interlock the hands underneath your back. Maybe tuck the shoulders under so you can get a little bit higher up with those hips. Press the palms into one another. So now you can feel the middle back, the lower back, the glutes, the hips all the way up off the mat. Keep breathing here, make sure you're not holding. See if you can lift the hips a little bit higher up. And then really slowly the way that you came up, release the grip of your hands, you're going to slowly tuck the chin in towards the chest and start lowering down. Knees come back in towards the chest, just roll gently from left to right. I'm going to do that one more time. So come to stillness with your rolls, bring the soles of the feet to the mat, hip width apart. Make sure your fingers can hold onto your heels or just tickle them. Press into the soles of the feet, lift the hips up. Interlock hands behind your back, use the grip to push up, tuck the shoulders under. See if you can get a lift a little bit higher up with those hips, breathing in, breathing out. Inhaling. And on the exhale, slowly release the grip, start lowering all the way back down. Knees come back in towards the chest, squeeze your knees in, roll from left to right, massage your lower spine. And then come back to stillness, extend both legs straight in front of you. This time open the stance, you've got the left leg all the way to the corner of the mat, same with the right, all the way to the right side. Going to tuck the shoulders under, draw the shoulders back, bring both hands either side of the body, let the palms turn up to face the ceiling. Any last movements and shakes and wriggles that you want to get out, do so now. You might want to be rolling your wrists one direction and then the other. You might want to turn the head from left to right. And then setting up for your Shavasana, the last posture of your practice, complete stillness. Don't worry about focusing on your breath too much now. You can just let your breath and your body breathe itself naturally. So you're going to go into a few minutes of complete stillness, complete silence. And then towards the end of it, I'll gently bring you back to the room.
lift up, bring some gentle movement back into your body. Start wriggling around your toes, wriggling around your fingers, keeping the eyes closed, bring the feet together at the bottom of your mat. And the arms can come all the way up above the head, take a big stretch from the tips of the fingers, all the way through the body down to the tips of the toes, big, big stretch, big breath in. Exhale, release. Knees gonna come in towards the chest, wrap your arms around your knees, give yourself a big hug. Again, any movement that you feel you want to, maybe left to right, maybe circular movements. And then when you're ready, you're gonna roll all the way over to the right side of your mat. So release the grip a little bit around your knees. Roll yourself into your fetal position, make a little pillow with your right hand. It's resetting in this pose. Keeping the eyes closed still, you're gonna make your way up to a seated position, like how we've begun, but try to keep the eyes closed. So find your way up. Not gonna fall off the edge of a cliff, I promise. You're gonna stay on your mat. Doesn't matter if you're at an angle. And then once you get up here, you can be kneeling or you can be cross-legged, up to you, whatever feels most comfortable. Get into a nice, comfortable meditative seat. Bring both hands on top of your heart with the left hand first, followed by the right, pressing the palms in towards your chest, your heart chakra. So a chakra just means energy center. So it's an energy center for love and compassion, showing that towards yourself and to those around you. So here you're gonna just think back to that person you dedicated your practice to, that person that you love. And now more importantly to yourself, just making yourself feel grateful for the fact that you spend this time focusing on practicing yoga. Maybe becoming aware of how you feel now compared to how you felt before you did the practice or compared to how you felt earlier in your day, earlier in your week. Just noticing that, so no judgment. If you feel completely the same, that's absolutely fine as well. Keeping the eyes closed, sitting up nice and tall, hands come to prayer, press the palms into one another. And then we're just gonna rise the prayer hands up, the thumb's gonna come and touch the point between your two eyebrows, to your third eye chakra. So this energy center is rating all to trusting your gut, trusting your intuition. So you're gonna make sure that you, you always listen to what your gut is telling you to do, you always trust yourself. Lowering the prayer hands down, thumb comes in front of the lips. So you always speak true and kind words, especially in these odd times that we're in. And then lowering the hands back in front of the heart. So again, acting with love and compassion towards yourself and towards those around you. And when you're ready, you're gonna start rubbing the hands together, creating heat in between your two palms, your own energy. Left hand on the left eye, right hand on the right eye. Breathe in. Exhale. Keep the hands on top of your eyes, feel the warmth. And slowly bring the hands back into prayer in front of your heart. Blinking the eyes open, namaste. Thank you, well done everyone, I'm sure you all did great.